What if you could be yourself? What if your opinion mattered? At St. George's, we believe that the best academic programs provide our students with exceptional fundamental skills, but also the ability to pursue their individual passions and interests. Over 50, in fact, that allow young minds to pursue their interests in a community that truly believes in one boy at a time. The interesting thing is that with all these different strengths and all these different interests, this diversity can bring us all together as one. This is a school where you can be you. What if you have a passion to express yourself? Every bit as important as numbers or letters, the arts are a language that everybody speaks. And here at St. George's, there's a fundamental belief that this language is essential to great learning, whether it's problem solving or creative thinking. In other words, creativity is as important as literacy. why the arts program at St. George's is so good, because a school that celebrates the human imagination. It's just a better school. What if you lived in beauty? At St. George's, we live in one of the most beautiful places on earth. So it should come as no surprise that we believe so strongly and firmly about the value of taking students outdoors to discover more about our natural environment. And yet, teachers will tell you that you need both academic and experiential knowledge to understand our world. But it also helps to have fun. And we should know, because we keep journals. Check it out. At St. George's, the love of the outdoors comes naturally. That's clever. I like that. Really? Not really. <laughs> what if you just like to play? At St. George's, we know that in many ways, the field, the court, and the pool are just as important as the classroom. In fact, they are the classroom, where the lessons of self-discipline, responsibility, self-confidence, sacrifice, and teamwork don't just prepare our students to be better athletes, they prepare them to be better men. A Saints coach will tell you that athletic competition is a powerful teacher, but if you ask me, I think it's also some pretty powerful fun. What if your school was your home? At St. George's, we take full advantage of what Vancouver has to offer in providing an urban boarding experience. 
A welcoming environment that is conducive to learning is our key priority, but we also foster a tight-knit and diverse community with opportunities and fun activities that allow boys to grow personally and gain independence while developing lasting friendships with students from around the world. I look at it this way. St. George's is my second home. It just comes with a whole bunch of brothers. <laughs> the occasions of camaraderie and teamwork are what uh, stick with me about my time at St. George's. And some of the things that I learned here I were uh, put to use leading men and women in search and rescue operations in the North Atlantic and also during my time as a peacekeeper in the Sudan. The thing that I, I uh, reflect on and, and uh, will never forget is being taught French by Captain Robinson. As Captain Robinson was by no means French, but he'd certainly been in the First World War. And he would make us sing French songs, which we all thought was one of the funniest things of all time. But I had the fortune of actually taking some classes from him, and we'll never forget it. When I first arrived at the school, I was 12 years old, uh, full border, desperately homesick, and painfully, painfully shy. With uh, a great deal of encouragement from boarding house staff, they drew me out, got me involved, was that one step that got me going, that brought me out, brought me into the community, and, and I'm deeply grateful to the school for that. Reverend Gale was uh, the art master in my time, and I was uh, painting on the edge of the field, and Reverend Gale came over to me and looked down at my work. I said, what color is the sky? And I said, it's gray, sir. And then he looked down at my painting, and of course there was a big gray sky. And he looked up and he took his walking stick and he pointed to a corner of the sky and said, I see purple. I realized that there was a lot more color and life around me. It's an important artistic lesson, but uh, also I think it's a life lesson.